who scores from the NHL. The Blackhawks defeated the Red Wings 4-3. And the Mighty Ducks won in a close one over the Flames 5-4. GHL scores. The Long Island String Nuts defeated the Cleveland Steamers 3-1. The Baboons got shut out once again by the Texas Rednecks 1-0. And your very own home team, Dingleberries, once again recorded another shutout against the New York Gooch. In NHL news, Sidney Crosby has reportedly dived into a pool. He is now located in a local Pittsburgh hospital in critical condition. No, no, Sidney. No diving. The New York Rangers' Sean Avery has declared that the New Jersey Devils are his daddy. Spank, spank, spankity spank. The New Jersey Dingleberries have recognized their new goalie, Brian Crahan, as the best goalie in the GHL. Players have also agreed that in his first season, he has shown as a rookie goalie to be one of the best known in his later years. Earlier tonight, he recorded his 110th shutout, surpassing Martin Brodeur's record in the NHL 107. And this is only his rookie year. We went to the Dingleberries practice facility today to talk to him and his players. This is their story. To many people of the GHL, Brian Crahan is the next Martin Brodeur. To others, he is a god of the Dingleberry fan nation. Many know him as the kind-hearted goalie and rough-housing goalie that he is. But off the ice, he is a totally different person. Mr. Crayon is a very high, heavy alcoholic who suffers from alcoholism and drug use. Many have seen him on, in local clubs flirting on local women buying them drinks. Some say Mr. Crayon should be a role model to all who watch hockey for the Garage Hockey League. Today, as we went to the Dingleberry practice facility, we had a chance to sit down with Mr. Crayon's teammates and see how they feel about him. Many have said he has a high temper, and others have said he's a great leader on the ice to pump the team up. As you can see, his high temper use is very bad for his teammates, but also helps, helps him pump up. As we sat down with some of his teammates, this is what they had to say about Mr. Crahan. So tell us about Mr. Crahan. Oh, uh, well, uh... He's won so many awards and he's made so many saves. He's usually a great goalie, but he just has a temper, and that's that's the problem. You piece of shit! I told you to stay out of my creek. How hard is that? Ah. Yeah, but he has a temper, but he's also an alcoholic. So, and all those beat downs are kind of are kind of usual. <laughs> what are you drinking? Um. <laughs> you kidding me, dude? Ying. Ying, yingling. Dude, what the hell? Dude, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm plastered. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go lay down. Dude, where you go? No, we got the interview. I'm gonna go lay down. Where, you, go, where you going? So today, we're at the Dingleberry's practice facility with their very own best goal in the world, Brian Crahan. Mr. Crahan, people have said that you are the next Martin Brodeur. How do you relate? Um... I think I could be like Brodor if I quit my drinking, uh, my drug use, and I, I like prostitutes. Uh, I could just stop that. That could work. Yeah. So, in all other words, people have said that you are a gay American. Your remarks. I'm not gay, Brian. Um... I've gotten a couple fights because of that, because of how ridiculous it is that they just accuse me of being gay. I broke a lot of uh, noses and all that stuff. And uh, I've cut a couple people, I hit some guy with my car. Uh, that's about it. Strong words from a strong man, Brian Crahan. That wraps it up. I'm Brian Kramansky. I'm scared. You know it's gay if you don't say good hustle. Well, that about wraps up for GHL tonight.
I'm Brian Kormansky. I need to go to the hospital.